And now for something completely different. Welcome everyone to Comic Crisis on Infinite Media. For this particular video, I'm going to do a review for the upcoming film of the trailer of that said upcoming film, Joker. Yes, I know I'm pretty late to this fucking party. <sighs> Let me explain. See, originally I did want to do, well, at least around the time when the video came out, at least, if anything, on that same particular day, or maybe one or two days afterwards. However, that didn't happen because, well, for those of you who know, I live in Florida. And, well, the Hurricane Dorian was on his way to Florida. Oh, at least that was a set prediction of it. And, well, that did not happen at all, as you can tell. However, it did hit the Bahamas, which I do want to give my condolence out and my big heart out to all the people over at the Bahamas. You know, I'm sorry you have to go through all that. Again, biggest heart out to all you people out there over the Bahamas. And also, fuck you, Dorian. But of course, Moo, you know, the hurricane, okay, fine. But that was like, you know, two, three days afterwards. You could have done, like, you know, if anything, we could have gone by, you could have done a video. Well, it was not just the hurricane that happened. Also, during the preparation of said hurricane, I got bitten by a fly on a fucking spider. And, well, it was so uh, pretty big, and I'd rather, well, do a video where my eye was not too swollen. But hey, at the very least of things, I did gain some kind of power from the third eye where I won dominoes. I guess. But, uh, yeah. Fuck you, spider. Now, with all that out of the way, the hell am I doing a review on? I feel like there's a theme going on here. Don't know what the theme is. Oh! That's right! I'm doing a video review on the trailer for the Joker. That's right. Now, to get more of the concept of how this kind of happened, saw that people didn't, you know, for a while, been doing reaction videos. Everybody doing a whole reaction videos. Even grandma doing reaction videos. So I thought, hey, you know what? Let me do something a little more traditional of it. Again, it was probably take about like one or two days. I wish I would make fun of the whole comp set. Of course, making fun of the whole video review comp set as well. Of course, it didn't happen because fuck you, spider. And, well, the reason why for the whole video review and it's a personal taste of it. I'm just not a big fan of the whole reaction thing. It's something I do get. People want to watch. Well, people make some reaction to the video they are watching. But in my mind, it's just, well, you pretty much just watching. Someone watching the video of whatever, you know, could be movie, film, trailer, what have you. Even of the person video, I guess. So you're reacting to the person they're reacting of the said video and stuff. Cool, I guess. You're going to watch a whole 5-10 minute video of them having this kind of blankness reaction to whatever is going on screen. Again, personal taste to each your own, what have you. And also, rather than just, you know, just see me go like, Oh! That's cool, I guess. I don't know. Oh! Oh. That'll be it. That'll be like a two minute video. Yeah. <sighs> so, enough talk. Let's actually delve right into the trailer Joker. So we start out with Arthur making funny faces in front of the child, which the mother told Arthur to stop bothering her kid. In all fairness, I probably would as well. Not because of who it could be later on, but a tan ass jacket. Jesus. Like he could find something that was less shitty yellowish brown. Obviously, it is winter time over there. He could have found something that was, you know, a little more appropriate for that time. You know, fashion statement and have you. Moving on, we get some lady talking to Arthur. I have some bad news for you. 
Well, it can't be all that bad if he's laughing like that. Probably just heard us, someone just pulled the rights of Spider-Man from Disney slash Marvel. But let's hold on for a second. What is this particular news? This is the last time we'll be meeting. Well, that won't have any effect on him whatsoever. Best decision ever. Then we see some montage of life kicking the shit out of poor Arthur. However, I'm positive that nothing else bad will happen to... No one laughed at me. Well, no one's laughing now. You can say that again, pal. Well... When life gives you lemons, you become a homicidal clown maniac. We get more montage that pretty much hints that Arthur will indeed become Joker in this movie called Joker. Also, I didn't know Mr. J liked the sisters. Well, ladies... You know those saying goes, once you go white, then he actually might be a crazy psychopath that wears clown makeup. Shots of the movie, including a scene of Arthur interacting with Tom and Swain. Dun, dun, dun! Of course, everything goes all chaotic till we get. When you bring me out, can you introduce me as Joker? Ah, ah, he said it, he said it! More stuff that's gonna be in the movie. Or not, because trailers lie apparently in saying that a scene is going to be in the movie, and it DOESN'T! Also, end of the trailer, which the movie comes out on October. The end. So that was the trailer to the Joker. And while I like it, it was good, just felt a little bit underwhelmed by it. I would definitely say I liked the first trailer a lot better. Because it felt like it was a lot more of the story without any spoilers, of course. And also... If anything, it's to give you a, a lot more emotion to it. This one, it does do that, but it doesn't give enough oomph to it, for lack of a better term. I saw something a, little, a bit more newer, just didn't get from that. Otherwise, again, it looks great. And, hey, I like the vibe that I get from it. It, it definitely looks very interesting. I do like the fact like it's a combination of both Taxi Driver and King of Comedy, both Marshall Crazy films, which, hey, big ups for that one. I totally dig. Walking Phoenix look good without taking out his shirt off. Damn that skinny ass fuck. But otherwise, again, he looks great. And hey, it can have plenty of water of good mouth. Already it has an 82% of Rotten Tomatoes. <laughs> which it's, uh, yeah, that's a pretty big damn big deal from it. And also, it won the Venice Film Festival Golden Lion Award thing. What the hell is that supposed to mean? So otherwise, it looks like it's going on the path of DC making great films. And hopefully it stays that way throughout the... Of how many films it go on to. So remember my fellow dear viewers. Click the like button if you like the video. Click to share, you know, share it to other people. Share it to your Twitter, your Instagrams, the Facebook, what have you. And if you're a newcomer, welcome. Click that subscribe button as well. Till then, tune in next time, fellow viewers. Same review time, same review channel.